guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am spilling the beans. I've been keeping a secret from you. It's about Disney Vacation Club and I can't wait to tell you all about it. If this is your very first time watching my channel, I'm just gonna give a disclaimer that this is gonna be kind of a mm, intermediate level Disney Vacation Club video because I'm going to be using some terms and I'm going to be talking about some things that if you are brand new to DVC or you're just now starting to research, it's going to really confuse you. So I don't normally tell people to stop watching a video because that is terrible for the algorithm. So maybe let it play out and let yourself be confused, but then definitely go to my Disney Vacation Club playlist, which I will link right here, where there are very specific videos that explain all of the things that I'm going to talk about. As someone who loves to educate and inform and communicate, it kind of drives me crazy when people give a presentation and make assumptions about what the viewer knows and doesn't know. So I'm just going to say, full disclaimer, I'm definitely going to be talking about some things that if you're new to DVC, you're not gonna know what they mean. So please forgive me, apologies in advance, but if I tried to explain everything I'm gonna talk about, this video would be approximately three hours long and nobody has time for that. So what I wanna talk about is that we, uh, you know, I did that whole video. <laughs> this is what, you guys are gonna appreciate this. I think you're gonna appreciate this. You know, I did that whole video about fantasy DVC and let's pretend we have money to buy DVC. And as a result of that video, I had to do a lot of research. So I went to all of the various resale sites, ones that I've used before, ones that I've never used. And I started looking at all of the resale contracts and there were a lot of them and they were going for very good prices. And so I did my research for the video and then erroneously, probably, it was probably a mistake, I ended up getting on even more email lists and, and downloading an app and all of these things with all of the latest and greatest DVC resale contracts. Now I will explain this. Those of you that are just looking into Disney Vacation Club, you can buy it one of two ways. You can buy it from a licensed resale broker or you can buy it direct from Disney. Typically, you save thousands of dollars buying on the secondary market. There are pros and cons to it. It is kind of sweat equity. It's kind of complicated. Again, go watch my playlist about how it works. But as I was researching for the last video, so really this is y'all's fault. I blame you. That's what I told my husband. <laughs> There was this contract. Those of you that have been watching the channel for a while know we love old Key West. We love the atmosphere, we love the size of the units, and we especially love the value because the point charts for old Key West are extremely generous. You get a lot for your money when you buy at Disney's original Vacation Club property. And over the years, we have just fallen in love with it and it really does suit our family just so well. We just love it there. So we kind of already had it in the back of our minds that we wouldn't mind having a few more points there. And really, do you ever have enough points? The answer is, of course not. So in my research, I came across this contract at DVC Resales. I think that's the name of the company we use this time. It's the, um, let me just double check that I'm saying the name of the company right. And I'll put the, uh, the website, this is not sponsored at all, but I'll put the website for who we bought this from. Resales DVC. All right, so I'm looking through for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. And I come across a 100 point December use year, which is our existing use year, for $110 a point. Now, it is a 2042 expiration. Our original DVC contract is a 2057 expiration. Those are very difficult to find on the resale market. So I kind of put out of my head that that was even going to be an option. But if I wanted to buy those points direct from Disney with a 2057 expiration, right now it would cost me $156 per point. And this contract was $110 a point. Now it was still a little more than I wanted to pay. It has 
30 points. All of the 2019 points are gone, but I mean, who cares? Can't use them anyway. It has 30, 2020 points. And then of course, all of the points for every year after that. So it's not a stripped contract, but it's also not a fully loaded contract. And Scott and I kind of looked at what various things were selling for. And we decided that we would make an offer of $99 per point. Now, because I know a lot of you are really interested in like, what does the process actually look look like, I'm going to tell you exactly how it happened. I tried to make the offer through their app because you actually can do it right there from the their app on your phone, but for some reason it wouldn't go through, so I gave them a call. The whole phone call was maybe three minutes long. I gave her our information. I told her we wanted to, to offer $99 a point, and that's all there was to that. So not even like maybe four or five hours later, I got a call back. She had heard back from the sellers and they couldn't go with 99, but they did counter back at $103 per point. Now I am not much of a haggler. We might've been able to save a couple dollars, but it's not a very big contract. And so we just said, fine, $103 per point it is. Now at this point, there were a couple things that happened. The following day, we did get an email from uh, Resales DVC with a form that we were able to electronically sign from the comfort of our home and send back to them. And then the other instruction we had was to mail a $1,000 check for earnest money to an attorney. And the name of the attorney was sent to us in the email. So at that point, I'm gonna take a little bit of a timeout and I wanna talk about the differences between buying direct from Disney and when you are going through a resale broker. When you go through a resale broker, you are on your own for your financing. Now, they may have companies that they may recommend to you. A lot of people will take out a home equity loan. They will take out a personal loan. They'll get money on their own. Personally, we do not ever recommend financing a timeshare. It is not really an investment. You're prepaying for vacations. So if you're not a person that would go into debt for vacations, you probably shouldn't go into debt for Disney Vacation Club. But I do realize that is a very personal issue and you know your, your situation may vary and I'm, not, I'm certainly not judging how anybody does anything. But if you buy direct from Disney, the financing is done through Disney and it's almost instantaneous. Like it doesn't take a long time. It's not complicated. And you can go ahead and do all that at the same time. If you are buying on the secondary market, my recommendation would be that you have all of that financing squared away before you ever make an offer. Now, this is especially important if it's a very large contract, you are gonna have to put some of that money down up front. But I, I mean, I've never actually financed for a resale contract, so some of you that have done that may have better advice, but I think in general, it's best to get that financing secured before you ever make an offer. In our case, we were making a cash Cash offer, so I didn't have to deal with any of that. I wrote the check for $1,000, got it off in the mail to the attorney, and it all went to write a first refusal. Yay! Okay, now we wait. Now, those of you that are wondering what the heck is this right of first refusal you talk about, right of first refusal means that Disney has the right to buy any contract back that is put out on the secondary market. This is not just a Disney thing. This is an overall timeshare thing. Disney does exercise it quite often. If either there's a particular resort they are looking for points for, uh, or maybe people are just starting to sell too low. As an owner, I appreciate it because it make, you know it makes sure that our contracts maintain their value. As a seller, it's a little nerve wracking. Now, I will tell you that Disney has not been exercising right of first refusal as of the time of this filming. Now, you know we know that that could change in a minute, but typically if the offer is too low, they will exercise right of first refusal. I feel pretty confident at $103 per point that we're not gonna have any trouble with that, but you just never know. So until we find out, I won't really know if the contract is going to be ours. Now I'm a little bit uh, anxious that I'm jinxing myself by doing this video and not actually having passed right of first refusal, but I thought it would be helpful, especially for those of you that are right now considering making an offer, to know the actual timeline kind of real time. So we're on like week three and typically it takes about 30 days, but because of the great unpleasantness and because of some closures on Disney side, 
I've been hearing it's been taking more like 45 days, 50 days. I'm prepared for it to take about 60 days because just the way my brain works, I would rather uh, under promise and over deliver. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> So that's kind of, I, I'm kind of just planning on it taking 60 days. It will probably be way sooner than that. But once we have passed right of first refusal, I promise to come back and make another video and I will share with you guys exactly what happens next, what forms we have to fill out, when do we actually have to get the money to them and what does that all look like? So fingers crossed for us. I know a lot of you are in right of first refusal right now. It can be a true nail biter. If we don't pass, if for some reason Disney decides to buy the contract back, then I will just be back where I started and I will once again be on the lookout for that perfect DVC contract. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. I really hope the contract goes through. If it does, we will have a total of 220 Old Key West points, which I really do feel like then we'll have enough, right? Then we'll have enough? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you are currently going through the process of looking for a DVC contract, or maybe you are already buying a DVC contract, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, make sure you put those down there as well. And if I can't answer them right then and there, then it will at least give me some ideas for things I might be able to talk about in future videos. So that's it. Now we just wait and I promise it will keep you informed every step of the way. I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're being good to each other. Please make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.